Welcome back to Top 5 Water Repairs. How do you know your idle air control is either faulty, if it's just dirty, or it's just clogged? The first common sign that you know that you're starting to have idle air control problem is going to be low idle. If your RPM is extremely low, let's just say around 400 to about 600, that's considered low RPM. The most likely cause is going to be caused by clogged idle air control. So at idle, usually your throttle plate is going to be closed. When your throttle plate is closed, the engine cannot receive any air, especially at idle. So that's where the idle air control comes into play. So basically the idle air control allows a little bit of air to bypass your throttle plate and go straight into the air intake and straight into the combustion chamber. And there's going to be a little pintle on the uh, idle air control that is adjusted that's going to move in and out. And that's going to help to adjust the amount of air that's going inside the uh, air intake where it will be used for combustion. When your idle air control is extremely dirty, it's going to cause carbon buildup to be built up inside the uh, air passages. When the air passages become clogged full of carbon buildup, not enough air is going to flow inside the uh, intake and straight into the combustion chamber. As a result, you're going to notice low idle and most likely when the carbon buildup starts to build up even more and block off the passages, it's going to start to cause uh, stalling as well. So all these issues only occur at idle. For example, let's just say you're at the stop light and you see your RPM start to drop and it starts to idle extremely low and it, just, and it ends up stalling. And let's just say you start your vehicle and it almost wants to stall again because the RPM is dropping. And then you step your foot on the gas pedal and your engine stays alive and it's running just fine. And suddenly when you release the gas pedal and suddenly your RPM starts to drop and it stalls, your engine starts to stall. That's going to be your idle air control. To fix this problem, this is extremely easy. All you need is throttle body cleaner and carburetor cleaner. All you have to do is remove the uh, air box, remove the uh, air intake tube, and, and open up the uh, throttle plate. And all you have to do is look for these passages inside the, in, in the uh, throttle body and just spray the uh, throttle body cleaner and carburetor cleaner. Do it a few times and use a shop rag and clean the inside. And that should fix your problem. If that doesn't fix your problem, maybe it's time to remove that idle work control and start cleaning around the pinto. Maybe that might help free it up since it might be gummy and full of carbon buildup. After cleaning the idle work control passages, you may notice that it may be difficult to start your engine. It may take a few attempts. The reason why is because since you're spraying inside the uh, throttle body or the throttle body cleaner or carbon cleaner, it's going to linger around inside the uh, intake manifold. When that's happened, when you start your engine, it's going to bring in more of the uh, throttle body cleaner and carburetor cleaner into the uh, combustion chamber causing an extremely rich condition. So momentarily, you're going to notice hard start, but that's considered normal. If you clean the idle work control and you're still getting that low idle or erratic idle, maybe it's time to replace the idle work control because all that cleaning probably won't do much. Simply because the idle control is made up of a few components. For example, there's a stepper motor in it. Maybe it's, maybe it's starting to fail and there's only so much you can do. Cleaning can only do so much. If you notice start and stall, for example, you start your vehicle and it stalls immediately, and you start again and it stalls immediately, and it only stays running, you step your foot on the gas pedal, most likely that idle control is already faulty already and should be replaced. In addition, if you start to have idle air control fault codes, Again, most likely the computer recognized there is a fault because it works by counts. And if the computer counts an X amount of times and it knows a certain uh, parameter that is off, maybe the idle control is indeed faulty and should be replaced. And lastly, this is going to happen on some vehicles. It doesn't happen on every single vehicle. But sometimes when you start your vehicle and you hear some sort of flare noise or some sort of buzzing noise coming from the uh, throttle body area, that can be caused by a failing idle work control. As always, thank you for watching. Subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.